Bill Goodenroth carefully recreates history, step by fragile step. The glass blower and scholar at the Corning Museum of Glass spent decades unlocking centuries old secrets from the Renaissance. The question for me is how did Renaissance Venetian glass workers make the fantastic objects they did? Goblets and bowls made on the island of Murano in Venice are prized for their intricate beauty. The period between 1500 and 1700 is considered the golden age of Venetian glassmaking. Venetian glass expert Yuta Page at the Toledo Museum of Art says Gudenrath's discovery adds a layer of understanding to the ornate work. The information has always been there. You know, the information has been embedded in the works that we are looking at. Um, but you need to have an understanding of how things are made in order to unlock that information. And that's where his expertise is coming in and becomes extremely important for us. Craftsmen risk death if they divulge details of their trade to outsiders. Gudenrath cracked the code on things like how Venetians applied enamel designs and how they added decorative bits of glass without shears. He just revealed his findings in dozens of videos, photographs, and text released online through the museum. And to me, it's a spectacular display of control over glass, but at the same time, sensitivity to glass. You have to know exactly what the material can do and can't do. Goodenrath's creations are mirror images of museum pieces, offering a clearer view into the distant past. Michael Hill, Associated Press, Corning, New York.